and back on Talk of the Town, and we are getting ready now to do something we don't normally do on the show, and that's Talk Dirty. It's going to be the dirtiest segment that we've ever had on Talk of the Town. I'm warning you now as we bring in Derek from Curbside Composting. Hey, See? how's it going? That's what's dirty about our segment, right? Uh, you yeah. got to get down in the dirt a little bit to be a composter, right? I do work with the soil. Absolutely. So why should people compost? Simple question, right? Yeah. Well, we're, our landfills are getting really full, and uh, composting kind of diverts some waste from that landfill and into uh, the soil, basically. You make soil from it. So okay. It's good for our gardens and our yards. So specifically then when we're talking about composting, why is composting good for the environment? Well, compost contains uh, nitrogen, it contains other fertilizers, but it also contains microbes. And the microbes benefit the plants. It protects it from uh, bad microbes uh, that could damage the plant roots, and et cetera. It's just good for the soil all around. Absolutely. So now, how does your service work at Curbside Composter, and how much does it cost for someone? Well, five bucks a week. I provide you with a bucket. Um, basically, you save all of your organic waste in there instead of throwing it in the normal garbage. So, and then I divert that to um, school and community gardens where I make compost with it. Okay, so you talk about organic waste. Is organic waste just from organic foods? What, is, what, what does organic waste mean? Well, that's kind of what we call it in the industry. Organic waste just means anything that you know comes from the earth. Uh, a lemon, it doesn't mean organic produce necessarily, any conventional produce, lemons, banana peels, you know, things that, food waste that you have, uh, okay. paper towels, paper plates even, that you would uh, normally throw in the garbage. Okay, and now where does all this waste end up going? To the school and community gardens where I compost that at. Um, I mix their bins and, and then the compost stays there at the gardens. Okay. It's benefiting them. And then who ends up getting the finished product? The, the school and community gardens. That's, it, it will stay all right yeah, there. Yeah, it, it okay. benefits the gardens and the soil there. Okay. Now, what if composting is something I know some people will do this around the neighborhood. They'll do it at home. they got their own compost uh, going. Uh, what if I compost at home, then why would I need uh, the uh, curbside composter? Yeah, that's awesome if you compost successfully at home. Uh, some people live in an apartment building or a condominium, or they don't have the time or space in their yard to, to make their own compost. So I provide that service for them and that hole in, in society where it's kind of necessary. Yeah, so composting in an apartment's a bad idea. The people usually do it in their yard, right? <laughs> right. I mean, you know, if you do it in the, the parking lot, you might have a rat problem or something like that, you know? Right. As, as we go on, um, as, as society's progressing, basically, we seem to be greener, more local, trying to focus on these things more and more. Um, do you see, like, uh, like, a renewed interest or a new interest for people in things like composting in community gardens? Definitely. There's these uh, compost pickup services popping up all over the country. Um, I'm just one of hundreds of them, really, and one of three in Madison, actually. Okay. Now, now what is, is some of the other things that you do? It's something with worms, isn't yes. it? Okay, tell us what you do with worms. Okay, so I have a, my whole entire basement is full of worms, basically. I have a worm farm down there, I, and uh, I, I raise worms. I sell them to other people that are interested in composting in that fashion. Um, every pro-soil mix that you see on the market contains worm castings. They're very high in those microbes that we were talking about okay. before. So, so worms, if you have a garden of your own, something like that, that's a pretty important thing to have, isn't it? Worms, exactly. Yeah, yeah they leave beneficial soil microbes behind. Okay. Okay, what, what are some of the other things that you do or services that you, you might provide, too, for people? Um, well, if you're having problems with your backyard compost bin, it's not really working. You know, some people are throwing their food waste in there and three years go by and they still don't have compost. I'll come and show you what to do for a flat $25 fee. I can stir up your compost and make sure you are making compost within a couple hmm. of months. Okay, so there's kind of a, a science behind it, isn't there? There is, there is, yeah. definitely. Okay, good to know. If it's not working, we, we got our guy. So um, tell us, how can we find out more from you then, Derek? Curbsidecomposter.com, or you can call me at 338-4798. Okay, and a lot of the stuff you'll see on the bottom third then going as well. So we got through our dirty talk here on the show. Uh, so I appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. I really yeah. appreciate it. You bet. And thank you for watching Talk of the Town. We'll see you next time right here on Channel 57. Bye-bye.